in this video i'll consider one example on discrete fourier transform find the discrete fourier transform of the sequence x of n is equal to delta n plus 2 delta of n minus 2 plus delta of n minus 3 so here the sequence x of n is given in terms of impulse signals let me represent x of n so here we can see that let me draw the signal x of n say this is x of n sequence and this is n so we know that delta n means at n equal to 0 the amplitude of the signal is 1 so at n equal to 0 the value of this is 1 so this will be 1 at n equal to 0 then at n equal to 1 the signal is not represented it means it is 0 that is at n equal to 1 its value is 0 now at n equal to 2 the value of the delta signal or amplitude of the delta signal is 2 that is at n equal to 2 its value is 2 now at n equal to 3 again its magnitude is 1 so at n equal to 3 its magnitude is 1 so therefore i can write x of n is equal, equal to we have 1 0 that is 1 0 2 1 that is 2 1 so this is at n equal to 0 so this is the x of n sequence now we need to find the discrete fourier transform of this x of n so here i will use matrix method to find d of t of this sequence let me use the matrix method the given sequence is x of n is equal to we have 1 0 2 1 1 0 2 1 so in matrix method the first column matrix is x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 x1 of 3 here capital x represent d of t of x of n so this is twiddle factor matrix and the, this is input signal so in total factor matrix we have the here we have four samples that is n is equal to four we have to find four point d of t so this is the total factor matrix so here w4 of first row is w4 of 0 second row is 0 1 2 3 and third row is 0 2 4 6 and fourth row it is 0 3 6 9 this is total factor matrix and here we have input sequences now let's know the values of total factor so the easy way of finding twiddle factor values so draw the circle like this so along x axis and along x axis it represents real axis and along y axis is a imaginary axis here write plus 1 this side and write minus 1 this side here it is plus j and bottom it is minus j so here n is equal to 4 w4 power 0 is plus 1 then write in clockwise direction w4 of 1 this is w4 of 2 and this is w4 of 3 and again it is w4 of 4 this is w4 5 this is w4 of 6 and this is w4 7 this will continue like this now let me write the twiddle factor values that is now i can write this as x1 of 0, x1 of 1, x1 of 2, x1 of 3 is equal to, now here we have w4 power 0 is nothing but 1, 1, 1, 1. First row is 1, 1, 1, 1. w4, 0 is 1, w4, 1. Here we can see w4, 1 is minus j. So this is minus j. Here w4, 2 is here it is w4 2 which is minus 1 this is minus 1 w4 3 is this one here we have w4 3 that is plus j this is plus j in third row we have w4 0 is 1 we have 1 w4 2 w4 2 is here we have that is minus 1 this is minus 1 w4 4 is here we have w4 4 which is plus 1 plus 1 w4 6 is so this is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 which is minus 1 next here we have 1 w4 3 that is this is 0 1 2 3 3 is plus j so this is plus j w4 6 is this is 5 this is 6 which is 
minus 1 w49 is so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is minus j so this is twiddle factor matrix and here we supposed to write the input values that is 1 0 2 1 that is 1 0 2 1 now perform the matrix multiplication between the square matrix and this column matrix. So I can write here 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into 0 is 0 plus 1 into 2 is 2 plus we have 1 into 1 is 1. Similarly here 1 into 1 is 1 minus j into 0 is 0. We have minus 1 into 2 is minus 2 plus j into 1 is plus j here we have 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 0 is 0 plus 1 into 2 is plus 2 this is minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 here we have 1 plus 1 into 1 is 1 plus 0 this is minus 2 and this is minus j let me simplify so this will be 2 plus 1 3 and it is 4 here we have minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 plus j here we have 3 minus 1 that is 2 and here we have minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus j so therefore i can write x of k is equal to we have 4 minus 1 plus j we have 2 and it is minus 1 minus j so this is the dft of given sequence x of n thank you for watching